there are five of us uh, children um, and uh, there's only one brother in the family, the rest of us um, are girls and um, it was a really lovely uh, experience growing up although there was you know difficulties because my parents got divorced at some stage so that was a very difficult episode for us as a family but once again I think watching my mother specifically and how she continued to be strong and how um, in fact both of my parents you know continued to be there for us despite the fact that you know the family was no longer together it really instilled a sense of the importance of family and family values and the importance of staying together as a family as I grew up. The divorce definitely had an impact on me um, as a young uh, child. I was probably in my early teens at the time and it's a very tender age, you know, that's the time when as a young girl you need uh, your parents to be together the most and um, I think it was very difficult for me because I lost a sense of belonging. I think one of the impacts of divorce, especially on young girls, is how you lose the sense of belonging and you are always looking for friends, you are always looking for other groups, other people who are going to accept you because you feel like you don't have something of your own. And I think I would say to those young girls that there is something that you know is inside each and every one of us that if you keep your eye on the things you want to achieve even though you will go through difficult seasons when you focus on the things you want to achieve in life you know somehow you are able to make it you know um, I mean I did find myself um, with the wrong friends sometimes uh, doing the wrong things but I think because of the experiences of my grandmother, because of the divorce itself, I really wanted to do well. So there was a stage in my life where I decided that if I don't get serious, then it means that I'm not going to be able to achieve the things that I've set myself to. So it's very important to have goals, I would say, because the goals are the things that draw you and keep you on the path because you know what you have to do in order to achieve those goals. Um, so I went to very good schools, I think from a very early age. Um, and even though the area where I grew up, which was a small township called Mdanzane, just outside of East London, even though that area was not a well-to-do area, but there were very good schools. And I think one of the lessons or tips that I can share uh, with young people and young girls out there is that you must learn to work with what is available. If the school that is available is the one that is down the road because that's what your parents can afford, work with that. That has always been a life principle for me, that it doesn't make sense to complain about what school you hoped you had. You must work with the one that you have. So I went to township schools, just like most young black girls at the time, but I was very determined from a very young age. I really was inspired by my mother and my grandmother. I think they suffered so much. Uh, they spent so much time working for other people and not having time for the family because they were trying to make a living for us. So deep down in my heart, I had this desire that I wanted to be better. I wanted to make things easier for those children who would come after me. And so um, I progressed through those township schools and then because of the divorce, we had to move to a different town. And that's the other thing about life, you know, sometimes things don't work out according to plan and you've got to be very flexible. You've got to be very adaptable. You can't have the mindset that says, if plan A doesn't work, then I'm giving up, you know. Most often than not, things don't work out according to the way that you would have originally planned. And it requires that you become flexible and adaptable. So we left Mdanzane and we went to live in Butterworth, which is a small village also in the Eastern Cape. And it was a very difficult transition. It was very difficult to adapt, but um, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. And I think that's what maturity is about. It's about looking at the situation and saying, what does it require of me and doing just that. Sometimes it's not about whether you're happy, 
It's not about whether it meets your preferences. It's about working with what is available and really appreciating the people who are working so hard. Because I could see my mother, she was working so hard to keep us in school. So I think it would have been disrespectful of me to say, no, just because I'm going to a school I don't like, then I'd rather not study at all.